Hi YouTubers, how are you today? Today we're making a big breakfast, Coney Island style guys. What we're gonna have is sausage, bacon, toast, pancakes, eggs, and hash browns. I washed that potato down guys. I'm gonna go step by step how you make a breakfast, a big breakfast from Coney Island. Hope everyone is well and will enjoy this video. If you can, guys, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and a comment. That's what they're wanting in the YouTube streets right now. And if you guys can help me by doing that and subscribing to my channel, I would truly appreciate it. Now, let's get ready for this video, guys. Step by step, big breakfast, Coney Island style, Detroit, Michigan. All right, here we go. On these sausages, I'm using Jimmy Dean sausages. There is a slit, like one, two, and you can cut them just like they are, okay? And you can come down on them just like that, and that'll give you the size of your sausage. A lot of people don't know that that mark is there. And what you do is put it in the palm of your hand and you pat it down. Now I'm gonna finish up this sausage roll and I want to come back and show you how we do the sausages. Let's just do one more. That cut is right there, and you just come down on it. You can leave them frozen if you like. You can, or you can thaw them out. Put it in the palm of your hand. And we're going to finish it up, and I'll be right back. All right, this is what you want, okay? Just wanna patty them out and put them into your skillet. But before I turn the fire on, guys, this is what I wanna do. Instead of frying my bacon this morning, I do have a video already on this. I wanna put this in the oven. My oven is on 375, 400 is not bad. We're gonna put our bacon on a sheet because this is our big breakfast, okay? So let's go ahead and get our bacon on the sheet. I'll be right back. We're just gonna lay our bacon on the cooking sheet, okay? We're just gonna put it just like this, okay? And that oven's gonna be on 375, 400. You know what your oven is like. Okay guys, so that's what you want for your bacon. All right, this is what your bacon should be looking like. I'm gonna put that in the oven guys, and we're gonna move on to our potatoes. Now we're going to our potato. I kind of took the largest one in my bag out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my skin on. And I'm gonna cut down on the potato like that. And then I'm gonna take it I'm gonna cut down on it like this. Now, if you want the skin off, take it off. This is a Yukon Gold, I think. You use any potato you want, and you wanna take it and cut it in little bite-sized pieces. Okay? And your potato should be looking like that. Okay, I'm gonna cut this up and I'll be right back to show you the next step. I gave my potato a little rinse. I have my pot filled up here. I'm gonna put some salt in there. And I'm gonna put these into the water, your potatoes. You're gonna let those boil until they're tender. So that's what we're gonna do with those. All right, now those are your potatoes with your salt. Okay, all right, your bacon's in the oven. Your potatoes are cooking on the back aisle, back there, medium heat, and your sausages are on. We're gonna let our sausages cook and we're gonna flip them over, okay? That's what we wanna do next, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. See how it's brown around the edges? Just flip it over and patty it down, okay? That's all you wanna do. Take them and push your sausages down. 
new Jimmy Bean sausages are really flavorful though. Very good flavor. Okay, we're gonna let those cook up and I'll be back. All right, we're gonna take that bacon and put it back there with our, our sausages and drain off the oil on our bacon. And now we're going to our potatoes. The bacon came out extra crispy. Real hot. Okay, now we're getting ready to do our potatoes, guys. Okay, now we're back. You wanna go in with like two teaspoons of butter. We're doing our potatoes with a little oil, vegetable oil or olive oil. Make sure you drain your potatoes off. I'm gonna put my heat on like a six and I'm gonna go in with these potatoes. Let me get all of them. Okay, you wanna go ahead at this time and season your potatoes. A little salt, a little pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Okay. And that's your seasoning on your potatoes. Then you want to put a little parsley on there. And remember, you already boiled these for about 10 to 12 minutes. So it's not gonna take much for your beautiful potatoes. They're smelling amazing. Okay, we're gonna let this cook for about seven to 10 minutes and I'll be right back. All right, you see the potatoes? I just flipped them over. We're gonna let them go about another two minutes. We're gonna take our potatoes out I butter up my toast, guys, old-fashioned butter toast. I'm going to put this in the oven for about five, six minutes and bring it out. I'll be right back. You see these potatoes? They got like a little bitty crisp to them. And the longer they stay in, the more crispier they will get. But this is about how we like ours, right about here. So I'm going to take these out. So we've got our sausage, our bacon. Now toast in the oven for our big breakfast. Now I'm going to do my pancakes. All right, we're back. Big breakfast, Coney Island style. It says complete buttermilk pancakes and you can make waffles. I have a cup here. It says add water. But we're going to level up. Come over here. And we're going to put a cup of the pancake batter in there. And instead of using water, we're gonna go in with milk. Okay, two thirds I think we're gonna use. And we're gonna just mix this up. Is what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix that up just like that. With that milk, that milk is gonna level up your pancakes. Then I'm gonna whisk them backwards and forward. Now we're gonna get our cast iron skillet together with some butter and make our buttermilk pancakes for our big breakfast. All right, guys, what you wanna do, so you wanna keep your breakfast still warm. In our Coney Islands, they have those hot lights. What you wanna do is turn your oven down to like 125 and just keep everything in the oven while you're making your eggs and your pancakes, okay? All right. All right, guys, I had a short video that I did. So I did one of those pancakes already. I'm coming back with my butter and my skillet. Okay, just want you guys to see how you make a beautiful buttermilk pancake. And what you want to do is pour it in. 
And the key to this is to let it sit and get those bubbles, okay? If you want a pancake like that one over there. We'll leave that down just like that for about two, three minutes. And it's gonna bubble and let us know when it's ready to flip over. When it does that, I'll be right back. All right, before you take your pancake out, you wanna take and put that butter all the way around. That's how my grandmother used to do it. Right after all that butter is around, you wanna take your pancake and flip it over. See that? That's how easy it is to make a beautiful, big pancake in a skillet, just like that. We're gonna let this cook come back and set up our big breakfast Coney Island style. We'll be right back. Now I have some jumbo style eggs. I'm just gonna go in with some butter. And just a dab of oil. And I have some pretty large eggs here. And I'm just gonna take it, put that baby like that. I'm gonna get me a little salt and pepper. And this is gonna be our beautiful over easy egg, okay? Over easy, we'll play with you. Okay? So that's your egg. Let that sit for about a minute. And then we're going to take it out and do one more. All right? I'm going to take this one out. Put it right on there with our pancake. And we're going to do one more. Just a little butter and oil. Sorry about that camera, man. Okay. A little salt. A little pepper. Sit for a minute. Over easy, guys. Real easy to do. Then we're gonna fix up our platter for our big breakfast. The other stuff is in the oven. On that, like I said, you can use 125 to 150 on the oven to keep your things nice and warm, okay? Shake it on there and over. See how easy that is? Okay guys, we're we'll gonna take this out in like one minute. All right, we're gonna take that egg out. And I'm just gonna sit it right here guys. I'm gonna get the rest of our things out of the oven and we're gonna plate up our big breakfast step-by-step -step Coney Island style. All right, this is our big breakfast, our pancakes, our toast in the oven, over easy eggs, our potatoes, bacon, and sausage with a little fruit on our platter. That can feed quite a bit of people just depending on how much they eat. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a big breakfast Coney Island style. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and a comment. Hope you enjoyed this video and got this far with me. Voila! Bye-bye.